Hey everybody, I'm Oliver Wolfman here with Gear at First. I want to show you a quick little demo of the Minicon Pro and why these motorized faders are so important. So I just opened up my DMX3 right here. I haven't made any apps or anything, but I want to show you that I can go over here and I can use my faders to trigger and control scenes. But let's say that I'm using Grand VJ. If I want to be able to control Graham VJ, I'm going to have to use another computer and another MIDI controller. But since the MIDICON Pro has motorized faders, I can switch to Graham VJ, go here, and I can actually control and grab my lights. You can see that there, where I'm able to grab the lights. Now because of this two-way MIDI feedback, if I move one of the faders manually, it does move that. This is really important because now if I need to go back to my VMX and let's say now I need to dim this light down and I want to bring this program, I can do that. And the program starts, I can go back to Grand DJ. Now bring another video up and control different parameters. Again, using the multiple pages. Now you can do this with any MIDI controller, but without these motorized faders, if I just go from page one to page two, there's no movement, so it doesn't remember where everything was, so it can mess your show up. But another thing is if you're in a bass-heavy environment, you're going to be able, or you're going to have problems with the bass shaking the faders. With the Minicon Pro, you have to manually touch the faders for them to actually take movement. So again, that is the Minicon Pro with Arkea's Grand DJ and ADJ's My DMX 3. Again, you watched it here on Gear It First.